All right, I recorded something on that. I recorded something on that, but I don't know what. It's Matt from Obtuse Anglers. I got Joe. We're out on Joe's boat tonight on Lake St. Clair. So, we got a mystery tackle box. And Joe's gonna show us his new boat, which is pretty sick. Starcraft, you gotta love them. So let's we'll see where it goes. We'll get on some fish and have a good day, right? All right. Mystery tackle box. You ever seen one of these? I've never seen one of these. Where did you get this? All right. Online, um, mysterytacklebox.com. Uh, oh, okay. All right. They got a couple different styles. This is the pro one, so it's got handfish, bass, and catfish stuff in there. But they got different levels. Um, open this bad boy up. So they got all these different lures in here. Check that out, man. Oh, that's sweet. That you should put on right now. Hummer buzz bait. I bet you right here that'd be good. So, yeah, so. so we open these up and we go through and talk about them a little bit. Usually it comes with a crankbait. There's your crankbait right there, a jabber jaw, swing bill. So you must do some crazy action in the water. Hmm. Have to check that out. Some nice heavy duty hooks. Here's your catfish stuff, right? Yep. So those are, uh, I forget what those kind of hooks are called. There's a name for them. I'll pick that up later. And then usually there's some plastics in here, infused with scent. Oh, nice. So there's a little jig. Spinner bait. I was looking for that. Yeah. Oh, my God, too. Yeah, I have a green one like that. Well, here's a. Very good. So perfect. All right, what else we got in here? There's all kinds of stuff in here. Check those hooks out. Three odd. I've never seen one like that before. Me either. Spear point. Extremely sharp. Keep away from children. But all right, well, I would put plastic on there. And then we got some kind of crawl looking stuff. This is what I like to use. I'd probably put one of these on one of those hooks. And then some plastic uh, jig baits. Little crappie, crappie scrubs. Awesome. And then what they do too in here is they give you, um, don't drop that. Doesn't blow away. Some documentation talks about, uh, yeah, and then this is your, that jabber jaw it talks about you know techniques and where to throw that. Um, yep. And then uh, the tips and tricks book, which don't use. They always include a cost thing, so like you know you can see what these things. If you're just gonna go buy them in the store, uh, so that this little guy is a twelve dollar lure. And then the decal? decals, yeah. Fish ninja, fish ninja. So, yeah. So what what we usually do is, is uh, open these up. Like I said I'll leave these with you. You can right. you can keep them. But we got to try them. Well. And uh, and you know we see you know you pick one, I'll pick one, and and we'll see who catches them, and then we just move through them, and they're yours to keep. Um, and I will. Uh, if we catch one, we'll give credit to Mystery Tackle Box. And but, what do you think? What do you think is? Uh, I, don't know. I think we're gonna have a winner with this one. You're gonna go that one? Yep. All right. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one Plan. to start with. My number two is there's gonna be that cray craw is my number two. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna change off, guys. The little whale. I'm actually I'm gonna throw him one more time. This guy's been phenomenal out here in Lake St. Clair for me. Well, phenomenal being two fish. But that's that's 200% more than I would have caught staying home. And the sun's coming out. Oh my gosh, everything's gonna change right now. Right. All right. First hit of the day. Ooh, I'm good. 
<laughs> yeah, a little, a little whale. And he's not happy. I'll try to bring him over to the side over here by you. Maybe it's a coho. I don't know. He's fighting, he's fighting like a walleye. There he is. He's right off the corner. See him? What the heck is that? I've never caught one of those before. Hey, it's fun. Whoa. Puma. All right, what do I how do I handle this fish? I've never caught one before. Well, so you got teeth? Do you? Do you? Uh, do you hold them like a bass with your fingers in his mouth? They move around quite a bit. You can. Usually, I don't touch them. You heard you can eat them. Cool. Don't that think, awesome. Don't think I've ever seen that before. Are those domestic geese? They're white. Oh yeah, maybe they're swans. I don't know. Oh. The one I'm using. Oh, that is. That is fish. Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Deal. You recording? I don't know. I'm not going to stop it. Don't stop right now. here. Yep, yep, yep. Go this way. Nice, man. Oh, I can't tell, but there's a fish. Maybe I'm recording it, maybe I'm not. I don't know. 
Oh, he's large, bro. Oh, yeah, that's perfect right there. And then sometimes what I do is I take the plastic, like, see how your point, your hook point's sticking out there? Well, sometimes what I do is I take my, so I take my plastic and just pull it forward just a little bit and just cover that point. Yeah, just like that. Now, now you're, if you get that point just just in there, now you're not gonna, yeah, and now you're not gonna hook up with any weeds on it. Or, or any weeds you drag in, they're gonna be, uh, they won't be attached. And then usually you can like pop it and drop it and they all fall off. 